This is bread from the beach this morning. Got my ocean behind me here. I hear the wind, feel it in my back, and it's just a great day. Uh, for the first two days, we've been considering uh, John 15, and we talked about pruning, and we talked about the fact that Jesus gives us an, uh, an identification here that's really kind of cool. Uh, he really tells us that we're the branches, that he's the true vine. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that we are in search of, most of us, in our whole journey. We just want to know who we are. What is it that we are about? What is our purpose and destiny? And Jesus simply says, hey, uh, you to branch, you to branch. Now, what that simply means is that God wants to birth something in and through us. He wants fruit to be something that comes from our lives. And really, we want to be the kind of branch that fruit just hangs off of and it's just there and it's in big clumps and, and it's just something that people can readily identify. But what we're told here is that we have to stay attached to the true vine if there's going to be that kind of fruit in our lives. But when you look at a fruit tree, there is sap that comes up through it that goes out into the branches. And it's not the branch that produces fruit, it's that vine that gives itself over to the sap and the sap produces the fruit. So that in our own lives, our fruit gets produced by the Holy Spirit, by His flow in and through us. And if we really want to be fruitful in our lives and really reflect the Father's nature and give Him glory, then we need to submit ourselves to that attachment to the vine, Jesus, and press in and pursue intimacy with Him. And the more we press in and submit to Him, there is that greater free flow of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And all of a sudden, it's just like natural existence here but it's supernatural because as we submit, yield, and press in, there is this manifestation of supernatural fruit. Love and joy and peace and gentleness and goodness and faithfulness and all those things that are part of the character of Christ. And our role is not to produce it. Our role is to let it be produced through us by our submittedness and our yieldedness to Jesus as Lord, and then that free flow of the Holy Spirit through us that then produces that fruit of the Spirit so that folks can just sort of walk along close to us and pick off a little joy or pick off a little gentleness or just lay hold of the kind of fruit the Holy Spirit is producing through our lives. Let it be so in my life and in your life. This has been Bread from the Beach. We love you. Have a great one.